Hey guys, this is Mac again with another episode of Glock Mods and Glock Upgrades. Uh, I've been going through and upgrading my Glock 34 competition pistol that I'm going to be using in 3-gun competition in USPSA. The first episode, you guys saw me do the 25 cent trigger job on my trigger. So basically, I took stock components on this Glock 34 and uh, turned it into a really nice 3 to 3.5 pound pull competition trigger. Uh, now today we're going to work on uh, the grip of this 34. Uh, now today we're going to be adding a beaver tail grip to our Glock 34. Uh, the Glock in itself from the factory has a very nice grip angle. Uh, it's a little bit wider than a 1911. That way you're able to get your hand way up on the axis of the uh, hand grip here and get your grip going right down the slide. And the higher you can get your grip up here on the slide then the more accurate and the more repeatable your shots are going to be. Now the 1911 does that superbly because of the beaver tail safety here on the back of the grip on a 1911. So what the beaver tail grip add-on to the Glock does is sort of replicate what the 1911 is already doing in its factory form. So here we have the Glock beaver tail grip kit that you can get from various websites but I picked mine up from the Glock store. Let's take a closer look at this. So I just picked this piece up from uh, the Glock store um, and as you can see it's just a very small plastic piece that attaches by taking the plastic uh, takedown detent out of the back of uh, the hand grip here. Now this is the same takedown detent that you would take out if you were going to pull the back of your trigger mechanism out. So uh, you just use a Glock tool or a, a metal punch to punch this straight out. You insert your beaver tail grip on and then drive the pin back through. Now, the one thing that you should know that that's actually uh, when you order this part from the Glock store, you're going to get longer takedown pins that come with it. You'll need the longer ones in order to keep this on the handgun. And there's one small modification that you may need to make as you're trying to fit this on. Um, this plastic lip that goes uh, on uh, right up under the back plate here. You may need to slightly sand or file it down in order to make a better fit here. Um, I did actually have to do that because it was pretty much impossible to get these takedown uh, pins to go through until I did that. But once I did, I got the fit just right and these drove right through. Uh, this makes a fairly continuous um, grip here on the back. There's a little bit of a lip, but it's not noticeable. And this is fairly similar to what I would uh, say the generation 4 adjustable back straps feel like. As you can see once I've got this piece installed I'm able to get a nice high grip here on the Glock 34 uh, without the slide uh, catching or pinching uh, my hand here as I am going to shoot and the gun will recoil and the slide will come backwards. So nice high grip right up under this beaver tail and this thing feels really nice. So check this out. You can find it available on many websites. It's pretty inexpensive. You can get it for less than $50. You have a choice of either the smooth contour or the ribbed contour. And uh, it's very easy to install. You can do it in less than a couple of minutes. So that'll do it for this episode of Glock Mods and Glock Upgrades, the beaver tail grip. Uh, if you like this video, please click the like button for me and subscribe. And uh, give me some feedback on what you think about the new setup for the videos here that I'm trying out. Uh, so, once again, this is Mac, and be safe and see you next time.